Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a uh, little update for the May 2019 update answering what is probably the number one question at uh, this channel. Why don't I see 1903? Why isn't it available on my computer? So, um, okay, here's the thing. It is not available and a majority of people probably don't see it. It's rolling in waves. So your PC, think about your PC being waiting on in line when it's its turn. You'll get it. Okay, first of all. The other thing is it might not show up because there might be something. You know, people don't understand that. Uh, I've seen one post, well, I got a really modern PC bought only a year ago. It should be compatible. It doesn't work like that. It works with hardware in the machine. So if your PC doesn't see it, it's possible that there's something not compatible. Uh, hardware, it could be a driver that's just not yet available for a piece of hardware within your computer. It could be something else. It could even be some software you've got installed. And this is part of the telemetry information that Microsoft has. It looks at your PC's general information. It already knows the chances of being a successful, successful upgrade or not on many computers. And of course, if there's a little something that they don't know, they're not sure, or they know that it's just not yet ready, you don't see it. It's actually a great way. I've seen a few people say, well, you know, if they do that, then they shouldn't have released it. No, actually, it's a great way of doing things. Because honestly, why delay the release just because some hardware is not yet compatible? It's not like in the past. The, pro the difference with Windows 10 and previous versions of Windows, you know, like Windows 7, for example, Windows 7 would just upgrade. And if you had something that was incompatible, you knew it only when the upgrade went through. At least in Windows 10, it's nice because it knows most of the machines that are or not compatible. So they can just release it. The machines that are compatible get it. And the machines that still have a little something, they're not seeing it. It's a great way actually of upgrading. Personally, I find that is a good way of doing things. As long as, you know, they do it carefully and you don't get stuck with a version that has something that's defective or whatever. So it's okay. If you don't see it, there's no help. You know, I, I see people saying, help, I don't see it. It doesn't matter. And you'll see it eventually. It can take up to six months or more for you to see this. You got to realize that. And it's been like that since the beginning of Windows 10. Some people in the upgrade process would take months before they would see it. Some see it they, you know, on the first day, and some see it way, way, way further in time. What is also making matters way worse probably is the fact that they testing this, they're testing this so much. Still it's still in a release preview, it's still in the slow ring also, that they're really going slowly because they want to make sure that the experience is the best possible. They got a lot of negative comments last year for the upgrades because of all the people that had problems with it. They don't want to have that again. So they're taking their time. You should be happy, actually, they're taking their time rather than uh, whining you don't got it or you don't have it or it's not available or, oh my God, you know? And if you really, really want it, and once again, I am actually letting you know to be cautious, be careful. You know, the best thing you can do is just wait and eventually it'll be there. But if you really want it, look at my videos. I show you where to get it, where to download it. On the Microsoft website, you can download Windows 10. You can upgrade from there. You can force update your system. And for probably, which is the second most uh, important question that I get lately, uh, I got multiple drives. Should I unplug them and blah, blah, blah? Like external drives should always be unplugged while doing the upgrade process. You can plug them back when the upgrade is done. Also, uh, yes, 
there are some things still broken with the um, the uh, mixing of the different uh, drive letters and assignment of drives so yes if you have certain types of hardware and a mix of hardware like you know several hard drives and an SD card reader a USB time drive uh, that might be preventing you from actually seeing it right now because they know that it might not go well so uh, there's a fix coming by the end of the Monday said you know there's right now an update in the release preview the uh, release preview is at version 18362.145 we are at 18362.116 so that means there's going to be a cumulative update it's going to be pushed um, maybe this week that cumulative update will fix some of the problems possibly that problem is one of them that's going to be fixed like I said yesterday that cumulative update that will be pushed is probably going to open the possibility of more uh, computers seeing the uh, October 2019 update appear on the October, <laughs> the May 2019 update appear on your computer. So um, just, you know, be patient. Uh, it's interesting to see how people easily panic because they're like, well, I don't see this. Does that mean I'm not compatible? Does that mean I'll never see it? This, no, no, it'll appear at some point. Okay. Just be patient. That's all that you need to do. And you know what? It'll appear when it's there and you probably ain't going to see that much of a difference and that's pretty much it. And uh, once again, for those that, because uh, i got a few people said uh, no sandbox mode isn't there in uh, 1903. Yes, it is. It is. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to say that if you don't see it, uh, something is just not compatible in your PC for you to have it. Uh, either virtualization isn't turned on. If you're on 32-bit version, you won't see it. And um, I've seen a few of you out there that have it, but uh, it is a little sluggish on some machines. If your machine is not super powerful, yes, it will be a little slow to run. But it's there on Pro and Enterprise, 64 bits. So that's the uh, questions and answer for today, Tuesday, May 28th, 2019. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.